Now we'll talk about the Thomson effect. So, what is the Thomson effect? It's also known as a Joule Thomson effect or Joule Kelvin effect or Kelvin Joule effect or Joule Thomson expansion. It indicates or talk about the temperature change of a gas or a liquid. When the Joule effect is forced through a valve and pore or porous plug kept insulated, there is no heat which is exchanged within the environment. Thomson suggested that when a current flows through unequally heated conductors, heat energy is absorbed or evolved throughout the body of the metal. Consider a copper bar A and B heated in the middle at the point C and the current is flowing. When no current is flowing, the point M and N are equidistant from C and are at the same temperature. When current is passed from A to B, N shows higher temperature compared to M. Similarly, B will show higher temperature when compared to A. It means from A to C, the heat is absorbed and C to B, the heat is evolved. This is referred to as positive Thomson effect. The similar effect can be absorbed with the antimony, maybe in silver, in zinc and cadmium. When the current is passed from B to A, M will show higher temperature when compared to N. In the case of iron, when it is heated at point C, current is flowing to A to B, M shows higher temperature as compared to N. It, it shows from A to C, heat is evolved and from C to B, heat is absorbed. This is referred to as negative Thomson effect. This can be absorbed in platinum, bismuth and cobalt. The amount of heat energy absorbed or evolved when one ampere current flows for one second in a metal between two points which are different temperature by one degree Celsius. That's called Thomson coefficient and it is denoted by the symbol sigma and its unit is volt per degree Celsius.